So, hello all, hello there Waltz players, this is Winston Smith and welcome to my little tutorial on how to charge uh, handheld devices automatically. Yeah, all these devices which are made on this wall are chargeable, uh, you need to charge them in order to run and use them and it's possible to automate the whole process. All of these items, also the rocket launcher. It's pretty much working with every item which has uh, internal storage and is handheld except for the signal disruptor. Okay? So, what do you need? Let's see. We need a battery box. That's the only way you can do it. Uh, some copper wire, some ME cables, a fuzzy export and a fuzzy import. Those two are important as is the battery box. We need an ultimate energy cube but not for the real charging thing, we need an ultimate energy cube to charge the battery box, like this here. Um, the reason is because in the energy cube you can export something, but you cannot import at the same time because it would be the same uh, place. So screw this, doesn't work. So the energy cube gives us via copper wire the energy for the bat box. Okay, so let's set it up. Um, okay, I forgot the materials. Those are here. Okay. Well, as I said, you will need an energy cube um, output with the copper wire. This is the battery box. Oh, it automatically... No, but it's wrong. As you see, the right... Mm, the red thing is the input, so you have to turn it, okay? Let's see, it's filling up with energy. So you have to put a fuzzy export bus on the top and a fuzzy import bus on the side. So we will connect that to the ME system. You will need one empty battery to block this here, okay? You need to block this spot. And there's one important thing I have to tell you about batteries, because there are three kinds of <laughs> batteries. If I think if, if you craft a new battery, it's like that. And then when you use it once, it's like that. So just look at it. They both have, both are empty batteries, but they have a different damage value. What I'm talking about is, is a double point 100. Okay, the other one is also empty, but it doesn't have the double point 100. So technically the games think it's a different kind. Okay, this is a charge battery and those are the empties. So the export bus, we are setting to both the of these empty batteries and damage comparison split at 99%. That's important. So in the import bus, we also have to configure the stuff which is imported also split at 99 percent okay and as you can as you can already see oh i did something wrong okay <laughs> sorry uh, you can see how fast you can mess this up you have you surely have to configure the import bus on a fully charged battery okay that that was a mistake here now you can see this one here won't get sung out and the other one already did work so for showing you off, these are the empty batteries and those are the charged batteries. I will put in four empty batteries. Just for you to see how fast this thing is working. Five. Six. And seven. So there we go. It's automatically putting the batteries in here and automatically sucks them out. Great thing, isn't it? So you can do this uh, with every device. Um, for an example, you also can, I will take out uh, the atomic disassembler and the tracker. So let's just pretend we have used it. Mm for some times, so it's nearly empty, and you can just take this stuff and put it into the export bus, okay? When you did this, there's something important. Well, we just flip them 
in here and as you can see it fills up the tracker but it won't import it as long as we did not configure the import bus okay so I'm just waiting for the atomic disassembler I don't know why it isn't charging it so let's just configure the tracker also I have no idea so put the tracker in here and it should get it sometimes takes a while yes now it's gone see Oh yeah, I know why, because the uh, atomic disassembler is already charged over here. So let's mute those here. See, there are two fully charged atomic disassemblers here. I will just decharge it to the half or whatever. So one fully charged, I put him in here, It's it was sucked out. And now it's in here okay it's fully charged you have to take it once configure the import bus and for testing put it in here wait a little it got sucked out and it's automatically charged so um let's do it with a few more items uh, this and that and this and that okay put it in here and we'll see what is it doing okay the laser designator right just have to put them once into the import bus from there it is totally automatic So, well, yeah, that's a very good way to charge your devices. Um, you just have to throw them into your ME system and take out the charged one. It's especially, it's awesome uh, if you want to have a lot of charged batteries. That's a very good thing. So, it's also sometimes annoying to manually charge all the stuff that you got on you so again let's uh, test it with some empty devices or just do it with some half use because this is more interesting you won't I uh, think you don't use all the energy up no doesn't accept this one okay that's strange never happened to me yeah, it accepts the laser designator okay so again as you can see um, it's half charged or a third of uh, whatever so we'll put it into the ME system they're gonna get sucked out and will reappear very soon here see the laser designator is fully charged and our energy meter will come back soon and uh, here is it it's fully charged so yeah this is it this is the automation of charging all of these devices so yeah well if uh, if you like the video give me a like and uh, maybe press the uh, abonnement button or whatever <laughs> so thank you for watching and see you next time bye